Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to CB Fishing. Today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fish trap out of um, trash baskets that you can find at your local Dollar Tree. Here we go. Okay, so first you're going to go to your local Dollar Tree and if they have them, you're going to see a basket. Now, I did make these before this video, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a pair of scissors and make four cuts in basically a square. And once you've done that, you're going to push the ends in so it creates a funnel. So I've done that on both of them. This one I messed up on, but it's all you do is you take some zip ties. I probably could have gone with black, but they didn't have any. Um, so yeah, but I got four baskets, zip ties, 40 feet of rope for about $10 at Dollar Tree. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your zip ties after you've made the holes and you're going to line them up like this. Then you're going to take a zip tie put it through one of its small holes like that and close the zip tie but you're not going to want to close it too much that way you can perfectly put them together so you line them up and then once they're fully lined up you close it and I like to do it Two more, two to three more times, depending on what you want to do. So I like to basically make a triangle motion, or a triangle. So you're gonna put it through the little hole, then put it back through, line it up, and pull it tight. So once you get those two on, it's really easy to get the, sec the third one through. But for the third one, we're going to do something different. We're going to put it through a bigger triangle in the mesh pattern. Put it through a triangle on that side. But, actually I'm going to space these out a little. Put them through, but we're not going to fully put them all the way through. Or we're not going to fully close them. Then I'm going to grab about 20, 25 feet of rope. Doesn't matter what color. And you're going to make sure it's not tangled. Looks like mine is. A little. So it does help if you grab one end and then just throw the other end behind you. So you're going to take your one end, put it through. And you can tie whatever knot you want. I'm doing just a simple knot. Um, so you can... Actually, I'm going to do a fisherman's knot. So you twist it around. Put it back through the hole in the bottom. And pull tight. Now, that's not coming off. And then, when you're done, take the zip tie, pull it tight, and that is not coming off at all. Then, you're going to grab your scissors, cut all the ends of the zip tie off. And there you go. So... I made the other one off camera, um, but as you can see, it's two fish traps for about $10, including the rope and the zip ties and obviously the baskets. So yeah, um, I recommend this because making two of these, they work perfectly fine. The only thing is these holes are a little bit bigger. so. 
if you don't want to put them in waters where there's a bit bigger fish. Like minnows aren't going to work, but you again, you're making two of them for the price of what a good real one would be costing. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Uh, go sub to A&M Fishing. But I am trying to beat him in subscribers. So please help. It's free for you guys and it helps me a lot. Thank you so much. See ya.